And if you got to buy some cheap and reliable coins, man, check out my sponsor, AEAOH.com, for the best coins on the market, man. Use code BREE for 3% off and build that gas schedule. What's going on, everybody, man? We're back here with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video for you guys today, man. Today, we will be going over the best playbooks in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. A lot of people will be asking me when I stream in Discord, when I do my videos and comments, what are the what are playbook you run? What playbook you run? Or what's some good playbooks to run? Now, shout out to my boy, Latre. I will put a, a message. I asked him, I said, hey, bro, you know, I, I, I need your help. I need to get the best playbooks, top five offense, top five defense. He said he got me. Shout out to him. I wish he would make YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure you guys will go watch him. He is funny. Now, all of my friends are better than me, essentially. So that's why I want to get their advice on it. So, um, but to show you guys how to prove the offense that I run and my what type of skill level I am. I, out of 10, I'm about a six on a good day, but usually I'm a five. Now, in much as, yeah, I'm currently 16 and five, 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 15 and nine which isn't too too good but last week we did relatively decent um we did relatively decent I, I don't know how we did this but we somehow got it done this is my highest i think since my no money spent last year um but this is definitely the highest one so i made top 100 last week which i'm currently right here i won 20 games 125 i usually get hold or it's usually my stu stupidity that screws me so that's why i lose some of the games that i do but overall i'm a decent player i have a, a god squad you're supposed to win games you should but if i be keep telling y'all boys if you do not have a scheme you will lose i don't care how good your team is you will get your ass beat man to three if you don't know how to read coverages and make the right reads and make the right decisions but let's go over the playbooks for you guys the offense and five defense so for the first one it's not in any particular order it's the ones i kind of recommend it's going to be the lions playbook which is the cheesiest playbook in madden 23 this is what i use some of your favorite streamers of madden youtubers may use these but i use the lions personally myself my Latre hooked me up and told me, but it is going to be the Lions offensive playbook, and it has some of the nastiest passing formations in the game. It has all your major ones you need. The only negative complaint I have with this playbook, because I use this myself, and there's no the running plays on this, because I'm usually a runner first. But the running plays on this is a little, and eh, there's no old one trap. You barely can run stretches out of either a single back or, I or, or the I form. So this is the kind of the negative thing I will say about the playbook. Now, next playbook I do recommend is going to be the Saints playbook. I used to run this a lot in Madden, like Madden 20 all the way up until now. It has always and will forever be, I think, a nice solid playbook to run. Um, one thing I didn't like, especially last year, and I think I might have changed my playbook a couple of times is that they took out the Taysom Hill package and they didn't have like their play action shot where the receiver in the slot go into a little post route. That was kind of the only negative downside. But besides that, a lot of people really do use this playbook. I hate the Saints Fork. I'm pretty sure other uh, playbooks have that. But that Saints Fork is the main reason why I will lose some of my games because they're being uh, empty and just, just go crazy with the uh, passing. Next up, he suggested is the Patriots playbook. And that playbook, bro... If you play with somebody who runs them routes, and you guys know what I'm talking about, them tight end angles, all them cuts and curves, that playbook there has given me plenty of problems before. And I have played a lot in Mutt Champs, and trust me, with the tight end angles, the Patriot is it's, it's somewhat it is, but it's all them angles and cuts and turns. It is an annoying playbook to play against, and I used to run it last year, but I don't think I ran those type of formations and those type of plays. But the um, Patriots is definitely for sure a nice solid one. I think it's more of a. I think it's a really you have to be some really good skill with this one too, just to make those routes and make those adjustments. But I do think this Patriots playbook is going to be really really good. Another one he suggested that y'all guys should use is going to be the Raiders. Now I remember in previous years people use the Raiders playbook. It is also really solid. I haven't yet used it this year, but the Raiders playbook is also pretty good. Um, I think I played this a couple of times. So the next one he also recommended was the Eagles, which is. I don't know who uses the Eagles playbook, but that's something that he also suggests because he also played regs as well, and he brings it over to Madden 23 as well. So, But uh, the Eagles offense, uh, I don't know how much it's actually going for, which is going for a pretty hefty amount, it looked like, for about 9,000. So the Eagles offensive playbook, like, has been used a lot more. So I might actually experiment more with these playbooks. Just letting you guys know so we have the lions saints patriots eagles and we did the raiders for the offensive playbook for you guys now let's go over the top five defensive playbooks now keep in mind if you guys want to change you guys want to take my advice it's up to you guys you don't have to it's up to you guys but let's go over the top 
five defense. And I think this is the defense that I truly run myself uh, for me is going to be the Chiefs defensive playbook. And this is when the loop blitz was going on. Everyone was running this playbook. I think everyone was truly with the linebacker blitz. You have all your major blitzes. I run everything out of this. Um, but this is a, a playbook I do recommend. You have your nickel, your quarter, your dime. Um, sometimes you might have to sub some people out to get some better uh, coverages. But overall, this is a playbook I use and I love this defense so much. I used to run the Giants playbook last couple of years. But once I figured out about that loop blitz and you had to get with the meta, I had to come switch to this. Next up, we have the... Um, he said the Raiders, where well, he said, uh, Raiders defensive playbook. Also, Raiders offense, Raider defense. Also, like, it's coming really, really good. How much does it actually go for? They run a 3-4 base, uh, defense base 4-3, um, for the defensive playbook. Going for about 3,000 coins. I can't, like I said, I really can't say much because I haven't used it yet. But just like a solid playbook, he does also recommend. Next up is going to be the Ravens. He recommended Ravens. I think the Ravens are going to be really pass. I mean, run heavy if you're for their offense. I know I didn't get the chance to talk about it, but I think they're on a recommendation probably would have been the Ravens because um, with the read options with Lamar Jackson, it'd probably be a nice one. Maybe Cardinals. But he did say the Ravens. What did the Ravens run? I appreciate one or three, four or defense with a defense with a defense hybrid. So they were a hybrid defense. Also pretty solid. And he also suggested the Bucks. I did, I think I might have ran this last year. Bucks, I think I might have experimented. I was experimenting at one point. I did run the offensive, uh, the Bucks uh, playbook at one point. It was all right. It just, you really couldn't run out of that playbook. That's why I kind of got rid of it. But defense wise, defense Tampa 2, this is the playbook he also recommended. And he recommended the 4 6 uh, uh, defensive playbook. I kind of don't know where the 4-6 is. I'm pretty sure there's an, uh, an alternate uh, playbook. I don't know where you can find that at. I'm all right here. Defense base 4-6. Going for about 7,000. It's probably going to be kind of hard to filter. But I think if you do something in the sets, you can probably get it. So those are going to be the defensive playbooks that Latrey recommended. So shout out to Latrey. I appreciate you, bro. I'll put his Twitter in the description box down below. I love you guys, man. Let's Like I said, any questions you guys want to know, let me know in the comments section down below, or you can hit him up on Twitter and get more in-depth for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I'm out. Peace.